what's good beautiful people i'm going to be doing a vlog today because i want to get my backyard together and it's almost growing season last year i missed last year i was doing too much i'm starting my car so i can go to the store i gotta let it warm up um but last year i had too much going on and i wasn't able to plant like i want to but i think and i i strongly believe that planting your own food growing your own food is very important so i'm going to be taking you on a journey let me show you what we're working with before i leave to go to the store i did this a year or so ago some of you might know the vlog is up when i built the deck of course you know i showed you that it got destroyed because we had two wind storms so there is the old planter box if you can see that and then right there <laughs> that's my destroyed deck so yeah it's it's a little bit early right now um and it's cold it's like 25 degrees i don't know if you can see that it's like 25 degrees but um i have a few ideas for out here it doesn't look like much right now and it never does after the spring because you know your grass is like yellowish but uh i have some malorganite for that it's going to be sweet but uh yeah and this table that i had for entertaining <clears throat> got destroyed it got destroyed it had a cover on it windstorm tore it up blew it off and then i didn't recover it so all the rain and the snow just messed the wood up So we're just leaving my mom's house. We wound up being over there for like 45 minutes, but I'm always at my mom's for a little while. Like I just like to spend time with her. But uh, we're on our way to Kroger. We're gonna stop over there real quick. I'm going to buy up probably every single gallon of Crystal Geyser that they have. And then we'll be on our way to, I'm gonna stop at Wally World first and whatever I cannot find at Wally World, I'll then go to Lowe's. My haste I left the house without my card or my driver's license so I'm about to run back to my mom's house because she's down the street I'll grab some money from her and then I just cash up her the money back um, but then I gotta run home and get my card so I just left out of Kroger and I was walking to my car with the basket and I guess I ran into this pothole is pretty significantly deep but you couldn't see it it wasn't wide so the whole basket like the front wheels fell into the freaking pothole the whole basket stopped and hit me right in the sternum hit me in the leg oh my god i'm in so much pain right now it's crazy i went in and told oh so sure it could be worse but for me to hit a pothole and the basket come slam down on me like that's outrageous that's outrageous so the security guard was nice enough to give me a band-aid. Well, the lady, the cashier lady at the self-checkout, she got me a band-aid and the security guard came and brought it to me. But the other guy was like, oh, well, he was like, oh, well, you're trying to file an incident report? Like, no, I'm not trying to get nothing. I'm not trying to do nothing, but I'm letting you know, like, this is an issue. He was like, yeah. Well. Yada, yada, back to me. I had to take a few minutes and do some breathing exercises and just do a quick de-stress because I cannot let that ruin my day. So I came in and dropped everything on the floor. They only had nine bottles of water. So that's all we could get for now. I like to get like between 10 and 15, but that's all I could get. So I'm hungry now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a smoothie, a shake real quick, and then be back at it. So I decided that I was going to skip the smoothie. And I got this almond butter. That's the kind you get from Whole Foods. We just hit the button and it grinds up the almonds. Mmm. So delicious. I got this the other day for. I took the price off, but it's like 11 bucks for a pound. Mmm. 
I'm so good. I don't feel like dealing with a smoothie. I took my vitamins. I had my green juice. So, this little almond butter is going to hit the spot until I come back. I don't really have time because I'm just ready to leave. Oh my gosh. This is enough. I can't. Finally made it. First stop, Wally World. We're about to head over to the garden section right now to see what we can find. Whatever we can't find here, we'll get some gloves. At Wally World, we got some gloves, some Alorganite, and I found these seeds. They have a lot, but you see how they have the organic sign right here? The thing is, most of it is not organic, so you have to look for an organic label. So we have cucumber, parsley, lettuce, basil, and spinach. That's the only thing that we could find. I remember that we needed um, something for the indoor herbs. We want to do the herbs inside. So I think I'm going to plant the herbs inside of these mason jars. So I want to give them a little bit of room so you can buy the really short ones, which are a half pint, but I think I'm gonna go with the pint and a half size. So they're really tall, gives the roots lots of space and the mouth is wider. So, so I'm gonna get some rocks and some sand to go in the bottom of this when we go to Lowe's, but yeah. This is gonna work. All right, so we're leaving Wally World. We got everything we need. We got a couple of big potters. We got some mason jars. For the herbs, we got gloves, we got malorganite, uh, and some other things. I only spent about 100 bucks, so that was really good. It was right within the budget that I wanted to stay in, so now we're off to lose. Dang, even though we found some that were organic, the rest of them weren't. And then they had a big section that was like non-GMO, but they were not organic so i understand i'm gonna get something genetically modified every now and then but i definitely wanted organic so the fairy moors i'm i'm usually burpy just by nature i guess but uh they have some over here they're 250 for the seeds which isn't bad to me it's not bad so uh, oh nope it's just this side organic non-gmo right here so we're going and we're done that really actually didn't take too long at all we um we grabbed the rest of the seeds that we needed that we found that were organic non-gmo so that was a plus it's still cold out here like there's snow on the ground and we are expecting snow until the first week in april so they didn't have a whole lot but i did find my organic garden soil you never want to use potting soil that's just not good for food so i found my soil i found um what else did i get the twine that i needed to put the mason jars up so i'm really super excited so we're off to get started a few of the things that i picked up from the store so yeah, peppermint, basil, parsley. I got hooks to hang them. These are for the indoor herbs, you'll see. Lettuce, cucumber, spinach, tomatoes, peppers, carrots, and cucumbers. Um, I got some twine. This will be for the ladder project. Um, and here are the buckets. That's what the dirt is going to go in. I did not get all of the garden soil yet because one, it is a little bit too early. It's about two or three weeks too early to get garden soil. And two, they didn't have a really wide selection. Now I did get the garden soil that I want. It's organic garden soil, but most of the bags were frozen. And so I felt like why rush it if I'm not about to plant my veggies outside? The only thing that I'm going to be able to do right away is my little mini herb garden. So I'm excited for that. But I got my malorganite. I got the rocks to go in the jars. It's gonna be really fun. I still have to do a lot of cleaning up outside. So altogether, I spent less than $150, which made this real cool. So I gotta go get that garden bed over there. I gotta get it together. Even though I'm not actually using it um, this year, I'm still gonna put the pots inside of it. It's gonna look really nice. You'll see, um, but yeah, and I gotta clean up, you know. It's got Whenever you buy seeds like this, if you look on the back, it tells you everything that you need to know about how to plant your seeds. Of course, you can go on YouTube and things like that, but the cool thing is, like this says, 
sow in full sun after the danger of frost in frost free areas sow from fall to early spring sow seeds thinly and cover with a quarter inch of fine soil keep evenly moist seedlings immersed 14 to 21 days thin to stand about six inches apart when seedlings are one to two inches high so this will change depending on whatever the herb or vegetable it is that you get but it tells you what to do with each individual seed so with all the seeds that are in here sounds like quite a few i'll use between two to three of these jars per herb which is perfect because i have nine jars The dirt that I have for um, the little jars is still a little bit too cold. So I took some time to make salsa. <laughs> I just whipped it up in my blender. I was getting really, really hungry because you see I haven't eaten anything, but I'm doing good. Staying on the healthy road, but man, in a pinch, you just want to grab something that's not healthy at all so i made salsa not too bad i have my organic blue corn chips so it is time for me to make some food because i still haven't eaten today i've had almond butter i've had water i've had vitamins i've had a green juice i had a nectarine that's it all I've had so this is delicious oh my goodness so I'm gonna f eat a few more chips and then I'm gonna check on my dirt I sat it on my heater <laughs> so I could thaw it a little bit so I'm gonna open it up see if it's thawed out enough because I don't want to put my seeds in cold dirt I don't want to shock them but um I'm gonna check on it now and see if I can finish off these jars. Okay, so I have all of my twine cut. Luckily, I got the 300 foot of twine. So I have these, I would say there may be 18 inches. I'm using the 18 inch twine to wrap around the lid of the jar. I also have these. Now the twine is a headache and a half a little bit, but um, cause it gets tangled a little bit. But these, I don't know, let me see. They're definitely taller than me. So I'm, I'm a guess about eight or nine feet of twine for these. And then I also have some, this is one, two, three, four, five. I also have four that are a little bit longer, maybe 10 feet. So they're going to hang about five feet from the ceiling 
give or take. We'll see once I get it up there. This is all, I'm just doing it from my head. I didn't make a plan or anything like that. But I don't want them to all be in one straight line. So I have five that are one length and four that are another length. So they'll be staggered in the window. I'm putting them in my front window because I believe it's a south facing window. So it will get the most light. Your herbs, your vegetables need a minimum of six hours of direct sunlight every single day. So that will be the best window for it. I'm going to go downstairs and grab my step ladder and I realized today that I don't have enough hooks. I grabbed only three packs from the store and each pack has two in it and not three. So I grabbed it rushing thinking I got three packs of three and I really got three packs of two. So I have six hooks and not nine like I actually need, but I'm still gonna get started and do what I can today. Standing up, this hanging pot it's on the ground, I'm about five-ish feet, is this tall. This is so cool. So it's probably about mm, four feet. It'll hang four feet from the ceiling. Up. Okay, so you see how the wrapping of the jars go. You see how I fill them, how I put the twine around them. All I have left to do is to figure out where I wanna put the hooks and hang them. So that wraps that part. That's all I'm gonna do with that for now. I'm going to go outside and clean up a little bit in the backyard to get that tent taken down and just make it look a little bit better. And that'll be the end of day one. There's so much prep work, but anything worth having, anything that's gonna be great, is going to take some time, so. It was super cold out there, so I had to stop. Um, I cut off all the little pieces of the tent that I could salvage, and I kept all the paracord because I'm always doing something. But uh, yeah, I'm super cold. I didn't have a coat on, I should have. So I'm about to drink this carrot ginger drink that I made. Um, I don't get colds anyway, but. Yeah, I still haven't eaten. <laughs> what am I going to eat? I don't even know what I'm gonna eat. This is, this is the struggle. In real life, when you have things going on, you have things to do. Mind you, I put up two videos. Well, I recorded two videos today, which you didn't get to see. Um, but when you have so many things going on, cooking is not on the agenda. So that becomes the struggle because now I'm hungry and I just want to grab something. Luckily, I made the salsa earlier, so that gave me a quick bite. But I really need my nutrients, which is where the juices come to play. This is carrot, ginger, apple, turmeric, and lemon. That's all that's in this. And it's delicious. It really is. That's how I make sure I get my nutrients. But still, I want to chew on something. I don't want another piece of fruit. I have fruit right here. I had fruit this morning. I want something to eat. So maybe I'll make a, a maybe I'll make a, a black bean burger or something like that that I already have in my freezer and just stick it on the griddle and cook it. I don't know, but that's it for day one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.